Okay, and then behind you on the other wall, there's a couple of other mixed media works on paper. Excuse me. And these again, this is one is called Parting of the Plates. And it's, it's on a, a wooden panel. And um, it was a photograph that I took in Maine, in Portland, Maine. Uh, we were zigzagging down a path, and we came upon this beautiful, big uh, Zen garden with a stone, these stones that were probably about, let's say, 12, 14 feet in diameter. I mean, they were really, really big. And they were sunk, sunk into the earth, and I thought, oh my god, that looks like a background of something. So I took it, I photographed it in such a way that I created an, a third circle. I'm interested in threes and fives and sevens, not twos and fours and sixes. I like uneven numbers because it, to me it creates a tension. And so then there are five, actually five photographs in this. They're the two original, pr all printed in black and white. Then I added paint and um, um, colored pencil and all sorts of stuff. Then there's, there's a, I transferred this image here from Napa Valley with this crow here. And there are two crows right here from Portland, Oregon. And then <laughs> this image of this branch is from, is the reflection in the water of a tree that was in another Zen garden in, in Oregon. And then these little circular things are the bubbles that were on the surface of the water. So I like that because it had all this texture, this visual texture. And so I transferred this all on, and then I went really crazy and, and just you know added all sorts of color and paint and all sorts of things. This, this one was really interesting. It took a long time because I kept looking at it to see what it needed. You know, you have to go slowly, but then of course you have to know when to stop. <laughs> That's one of the big things. <laughs> when to stop. This one was taken from a, a light plane flying from Orcas Island to Seattle, just a small plane. And I was just glued you know, to the window um, taking pictures of water. And so I saw this big, th big um, thing here. And I didn't know if it was an oil slick or whatever it was. I didn't really care. I really liked it. So I first did this side, and I added other, collaged on other images of water with colored pencil. This actually is acrylic. And then I, I transferred this branch. This is a branch from an oak tree. And then about a year later, I thought, you know, it would be interesting if I flipped the image, if I flipped it, and then don't add any color at all. See what the contrast, see how that works. So that's how I composed that. Let's see, have we done just about everything? Yes, fish. <laughs> the fish. OK. These pieces here are what I've been working on since for about the last seven years. These, again, are my photographs. These are uh, koi from Maui. Those are jellyfish from the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They're straight photographs. Those are printed onto plexiglass. And um, as you can see, Mitch, could you just tap that lightly? Make it go around, tw oh. twirl it. Yeah, right. There. That's OK. But you see, sometimes if it's lit, it, you can see a, a colored shadow oh, yeah. on the wall. And the shadow on this is black and white, but it definitely comes through if it's lit. Thank you, Justin, <laughs> for lighting, lighting it so nicely. And so um, these are um, straight photographs. I didn't do anything <coughs> to these. I have other pieces that I've drawn and collaged onto and done all sorts of things that are kinetic. And so that's what I've been doing lately. This one is the most current. It's um, from 2022. So 
Any questions? <laughs> When you go from like one phase into the next, uh -huh. um, is it is it just like something pulls you and you just go with it? Yeah, sometimes I get images in my dreams. Uh -huh. I get a lot of information. Sometimes just before I wake up, there's this burning image, and I have to drag you know get a piece of uh, paper and draw it or write on you know. Make, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of that phenomenon, so I'm waiting for it perhaps to happen. And um, that's how the cakes happen, <laughs> for instance. And Josephine. And Josephine, yes. Gordon. Do you have a transition, or do you abruptly abandon what you're working on and jump to the next video? Let's see. Do I have a transition? Well, I'll tell you that um, in this book, this piece here called Windbreak was one I did in um, 15, 2015. And it's a, an image of a windbreak in the, on the North Island of New Zealand. It's a photograph I took, and then I drew it on to the surface. And I looked at it, and I said, wait a minute. Didn't I do some, some kinetic work a while ago? Wait, this looks awfully familiar to me. It's circular. It's kinetic. And I thought, well, actually, I did this one called Hollywood car wash in 1973. So I was coming back to an idea that I had started decades before, but I wasn't conscious of it at the time. I just recognized, I said, God, that looks familiar. <laughs> and I realized that I'd done it in 70, what is it, 74, 1974. And this piece is about 12 feet high. And it's made out of, I had, hi, Nina. <laughs> I had no money. I was a starving artist. So I went down to Costco, and I got the cheapest Japanese ribbon I could find. It just rolls and rolls and rolls of it. And I made these sculptures. I made a whole series of these. And um, yes. Yes. What did you think about when you did all that? When I what? Oh, what am I do thinking? Oh, that's a good question. Um, what am I thinking? That's a really good question. Okay, I'm thinking about line. I'm thinking about color. I'm thinking about shapes. And I'm thinking about how things go together and how how they might be like something I've done before, but just a little bit different. That's one way I do it. I start with one thing. Like, for instance, pass keys, that's one of five. I did a whole series of, of five sculptures that used those same colors, those same size hoops, but they were put in different arrangements. So I just keep going and going and going and try to change it just a little bit and do something else and then look at that and change it just a little bit and do something else. Good question. <laughs> yes. I want to piggyback on that question. And, um, so when you getting into your thought process, you just described what you're doing, but do you have something like a, a larger image in mind or is that revealing itself to you as you're working? Yeah, I, it, it does reveal itself. I take random photographs, and I say, I have no idea why I'm taking this photograph, but maybe I'll use it. I have something like 24,000 photographs in my... <laughs> and so, when I get stuck, I just start looking at my photographs. And then I say, it's got to be interesting to me for, at that point in that time, and then I'll go with it, and I think, what can I do with that? What can I 
can I put it with something else or something? But um, I'm always taking photographs. Uh, most of the photographs I take are of nature, mostly. So is that how that painting evolved? I mean, it was a photograph? Yeah. Uh, when I saw these big stones sunk in the ground, I, I knew that I could use that as a background and build images on top of it. So I, I took it immediately. <laughs> yes. Could you say something about your longevity as an artist? Because what's really impressed me for as long as I've known you is how you've never stopped. How you That's keep true. going. And yeah. you I mean, this is an incredible array of different expressions of you. Yeah. Can you say something to that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what can I say? Well, I always have made things with my hands my whole life, since I was a little tiny kid. And I always had a camera around from the time I was like five or six or seven or something like that. So I had that, my father was a, a, a ph photographer and had an um, amateur photographer, but he was a very good, he had a good eye and he had a dark room. So I was always interested in how that happened. And so I kept going through life and I didn't know that I was an artist. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I could be an artist, that there was something to be called an artist. You know, I just made these things. And so luckily I had a, a, an instructor who said, you should go to the Rhode Island School of Design. I said, what? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and so I did. And I majored in sculpture. And then I got, went to Manhattan and I got all involved with the whole underground video um, uh, thing, uh, you know, for three and a half years I was, I was shooting. It was, it was images, it was just moving images. So it was, it was, you know, I was just shooting a camera the whole time. Then I escaped and I came to California in 1973 and I said, oh, didn't I go to art school? <laughs> And what did I major in? Oh, that's right, sculpture. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll do sculpture. And then <laughs> I, made, I made Hollywood car wash. And, and, and that was, you know, this, this is my, one of my very first pieces I made. And I thought, okay, we're on a roll here. So I made a whole bunch in this series, different lines of them and all sorts of stuff. And so I just kept going and I had every dumb job you can imagine to keep it together. I did teach children for years and years um, art, but I kept continuing to do my work. I refused to stop doing my work. Whatever I had to do, I did it. So I've basically been going from the last 50 years, from 1973 to 19, 2023, and I'm still doing my work. <laughs> Thank you.